spins a web any size. Catch your seed just like flies. Look out! Here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Wealth and fame, he's ignored. Action is his reward to him. Life is a great big bang up. Wherever there's a hang up, you'll find a Spider-Man. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Comic Book Blog. I'm your host, Jim Houston. So as some of my viewers know, not only do I have Batman 1 to 100 graded, 7th best set on the registry set for CGC, I also have Spider-Man 1 to 100, although they're not all graded yet. I do have 1 to 51 already graded, and I've been actively upgrading the issues that I have in my collection. So today, we have two boxes we're going to open. I bought, purchased these from Elite. Elite is on Instagram. And uh, when you purchase something from Elite, you actually do uh, the payment by friends and family, which does not really give you... Um, peace of mind as far as if you have to make a claim to uh, find out, you know, where your comics are, did you get the wrong issue or stuff like that. So I gave it a chance. I bought two within a week. So these are the first two. If it comes out good, I'll probably continue to buy them that way. Um, people have been buying comics from me. Also, not using goods and services because they trust me. And... Uh, I actually get comments now that say how great my packing is. So I include that when I offer comics for sale as a testimonial. So, and here we have a comic that just came yesterday. It's an upgrade to one of the issues I already have in my collection. The only difference is, it's kind of silly. I paid extra to have the Spider-Man over New York City labels not really knowing what grade they would come back. So, I've been actively upgrading, but the new uh, books I put into the collection do not have the Spider-Man over New York City custom label. Is that important? No, but I want it, and it's my collection. So, I'm probably gonna fly to Florida one day with these comics that are not in the CGC Spider-Man over New York City custom label and drop them off in person because so, the slabs are heavy and I'd rather just know they get there perfectly fine. All right, so this does have a custom label but not the one that I've been using. This is Spider-Man. It's number 18 and it's graded 5.0. And it has off-white pages, which I like. Um, trying to get 5.0 and above depends how much it costs. Usually on Elite they say, uh, you know, buy it now or put in an offer. Both of these comics I put in an offer and it was accepted. So I'm pretty happy about that. Here's Spider-Man 18. First thing you notice is custom label on both. This is my original from my collection. It's 3.5, off white to white pages. A little divot down there, color breaking bend. Here's the upgrade, off-white pages, 5.0, Spider-Man versus the Sandman, and a different custom label, I think that's Hobgoblin.
Spider-Man 18 back covers. Definitely happy with the condition of this comic. Looks exactly like it did on the site. So here's another one that I bought off of uh, Elite. And uh, this was the first one I purchased, I believe. And uh, when I wrote him, Elite, they said, don't worry, if it doesn't ship, we guarantee the cost that you paid for the comic. So you don't really need to use goods and services if the book is coming through Elite. So I'm happy about that service. Bubble wrap is nice and tight. Let's see. I'll tell you a little bit of an eBay story about this comic. When I saw this, I knew I needed an upgrade. And usually I'll check eBay's prices to see what uh, the going rate is for a comic. And what's really wild, and I don't understand why, hopefully there's no surprise in here, a comic in this grade sold on eBay for $1,000. And then you got to add in your tax and shipping and all that other nonsense and this I got for like 500 so it definitely was like a very good deal I'm not sure why the one sold for a thousand dollars so I have a double now that I could sell maybe I'll get exactly what I paid for it so this is a very nice spider-man 10 off-white to white pages and it's in the old label. Very nice. I'll take out the ones in my collection now and uh, we'll uh, do the close up comparison. Here's Spider Man 10. Mine has the custom label. It's created 4.0, off white to white. You can see Spider Man's eyes colored in a little blue. Fill it and get that off. I like that label. Here's the upgrade. 5.5, it's a nice upgrade. Off white to white pages. Right away, you can tell the one on the right is old label, original label for CGC. Yeah, pages look white to me. It's a little dirty back there. Maybe some water stains. Since you only see the front and back of the cover now, the back cover can hit the whole comic and lower the grade. Usually the back of the comic you can see if the pages look white and they certainly do. But it was called off-white. Maybe if this was cracked out, cleaned and pressed, it would come back higher graded. So once the copies are graded, 
you call the issue that is a lower grade your undercopy. And first I market them on Instagram. Then I give it a shot on Facebook. And then I'll put it on eBay. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking this um, Spider-Man 10 should do well on eBay. And uh, we see what happens. Well, this has been another edition of the Comic Book Blog. I'm your host, Jim Houston. See you again soon. Bye. Just like flies, look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, wealth and fame, he's ignored, action is his reward to him. Life is a great big hang-up, wherever there's a hang-up, you'll find a Spider-Man.